Chicago business scene is as diverse as the city itself. But we don't always hear from the entrepreneurs who keep the Chicago economy colorful. That's where I come in. I'm Mikai Brown, and this is the Minority Report. It's difficult to dress for a meeting with Mookie Lee. The man behind Monarch makes his living producing luxe bespoke suits for the young entrepreneurs he used to work with. After struggling to find the right dress, it hit me. Have him design the outfit. The resulting suit, his first attempt at women's wear, was donated to Dress for Success. While we sat around looking fly, we talked about getting hit on, the flack that he gets from manufacturing overseas, and the book you need to read to pursue your dreams. I must say that I am an aspiring entrepreneur. I'm working my nine to five, but I know that I want to do something outside of my everyday life. What advice would you give to that person to just go about finding their dream? One is you want to do some research, right? You want to find out more about what it is that you want to do, talk to your friends, family, people you can get in contact with. Is this an opportunity that I think I should move forward on? Second is really know your strengths and weaknesses, right? So if you are terrible at design, don't be a graphic designer and say, I've always <laughs> wanted to be a graphic designer and own this company. Really plan your strengths. And if that's organizational strengths or is it, do I know how to run a business? Do I know how to work with people? What part do I fit within that dream? And then the third is just taking the chance, the risk, right? I would tell them to read The Alchemist. I think it's a great book that talks about pursuing your dreams and your passion and what you're really meant for. And I think these inspirational books really help drive that out of you. So what was one of the biggest risks you have taken in this process of starting your own brand? And what did you learn from it? And was it a good outcome or was it a negative outcome? So one of the biggest risks is the fact that I'm kind of in the middle of my career. And you take this risk of in the next five years is what I'm pointing towards this of let's see how this runs in your own money and your time and your reputation, I guess you would say. And then once five years is gone, who knows how old I am at now? I don't know, really <laughs> but at that point, you're really behind in, right. in, in your career if you're going back into the real world. Many folks have a support system, whether it be a board of advisors or some trusted friends. Who do you go to when you're making life-changing decisions for your business or you just need to unload? Well, I, I'm lucky to have a great group of friends who are, a lot of them are entrepreneurs, um, very successful. And so the ability to just tap into that network of my friends really gives me that confidence and also the advice that I need to move forward. I think a lot of people don't have that. At the same time, there's an opportunity, there's a bunch of people out there that want to help. As an entrepreneur, you kind of go through the same things, the same struggles, the obstacles. Everyone has to have an operating agreement. They have to talk to a lawyer. They have to set up right. their business. And so for those things and kind of those, the initial advice, I provide that. But there's also places like 1871, and there's a growing community of entrepreneurs and uh, opportunities to meet with people in Chicago. It's a growing entrepreneurial city. Absolutely. And so there are more and more opportunities to meet those people. You just have to go out and seek them. You currently manufacture your suits out of the country. What type of criticisms have you received because you aren't bringing necessarily technically jobs to the U.S., which you have a team here, and how do you feel about that? The fact of the matter is majority of clothing, a lot of electronics are built and made overseas. During my whole trip in, uh, overseas, I made sure that I, was, I visited every manufacturer, made sure that they're getting paid more. We're actually paying more of a premium in our factories uh, for our clothing versus a lot of other companies. Interesting. Um, yeah, so that's, a lot, that's something that a lot of people don't know, which is very important to us. But right. what we're really doing is we're making it affordable for people to buy things that people can't get elsewhere for the same price. What would you say is one of the biggest mistakes that you made in this business and what did you learn from it? Um, one of the biggest mistakes that I've made is uh, not staying overseas longer. The biggest issue with manufacturing overseas is the fact that it takes roughly for us three to four weeks to receive your clothing. And so when, throughout the sample and testing process, that process took way too long, about six to seven months, when we could have probably done it in less than two months. That kind of held us back and we've, we're obviously learning from the mistakes, but that's all part of being entrepreneurs. You learn from your mistakes quickly and you move forward. How do you feel that your ethnicity has affected the way you view your business and the success of it? Yeah, you know, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact we manufacture overseas. So the fact that I'm Asian, it's like, 
you're Asian, you manufacture overseas, can I really trust you? Is it your family making something? Or mm -hmm. it's the initial image that you're projecting, but I think people kind of trust the fact that, you know, I was overseas, I understand what's going on, and they can, they think that it's very relatable. Right. That we all speak the same language, which we don't. Right. So how often do you get hit on in your Never. hot custom suit? Never. Get over yourself. <laughs> Let's be honest. I don't know so much about hitting on mm -hmm. me. I think it's more of conversation. How easy social, is it for you to get so phone numbers social. I don't in get your phone custom numbers. suits? I don't get phone numbers. So we probably need to give people your phone number. Yeah. I can put out an ad for yeah, you. Are you looking for someone? You can scroll that on the back. Yeah. <laughs>